Dorosa. Yeah, on a day like today, I know at least there's some relief in sight, but still, yes. just getting through today. Is yeah, to get through today, yeah, right? Yeah, and, that's a big thing. Uh, you know, we didn't get a, much of a cool down overnight. Our lows were in the upper 70s. Some spots didn't dip below 80 degrees. And next few hours, our temperatures are going to hang out in the anywhere from the low end, right around 93 degrees, high end, up near 100. And the heat index values, yeah, that's not a typo, 120. And I'm going to show you those current heat index levels here in just a moment. So, uh, if you can, if you have outdoor plans, maybe just hold those off until uh, we get into our evening hours after sunset. Right now, as we look towards the west, we have the hazy sky. It's hot, it's humid. 93 is our temperature, but look at that heat index. Feels like 108 degrees. We have a breeze out there out of the south southwest, gusting up near 25 miles an hour, but that's just some hot wind. It's really not providing much relief at all. We're at 98 in Overland Park, 95 degrees for Olathe, 96 in Lee Summit, about the same for Independence and Liberty. Lawrence, you're at 100 degrees. 99 in Ottawa, 95 degrees there in Liberty, up towards uh, St. Joseph. Now I want to show you the heat index levels, and you can see this is a big reason why today's an alert day. Feels like 120 in Ottawa. That's one of the highest heat index levels in the world right now. Uh, not too much cooler in Lawrence, 117, feels like 109 for Lee Summit, 111 for Paola, 115 for St. Joseph. So again, if you have to be outside, work outside, anything like that, if you can hold that off until later on this evening or postpone it till tomorrow, we are going to see some relief coming in as we head through the next couple of days. For this evening, especially between now and 8 p.m., temperatures are going to be hanging out in those 90s. Heat index levels still above 100. We do start to cool off gradually later on this evening. A few more clouds will drift through as well. And that breeze, it'll still be out of the southwest. So warm, humid, breezy. We're dry this evening. There will be some bigger thunderstorms that will roll through Iowa, maybe clipping northeastern Missouri by tomorrow morning. So closer to sunrise tomorrow, maybe around 7 or 8. That's when we could start to see some thunderstorms that develop and make their way into the area. And that could slow us down for the Tuesday morning drive. And that's why tomorrow's an impact day. Not because of the heat, but because of rain and thunderstorms that could slow you down in the morning. Then we'll see a little bit of a lull late morning into the early afternoon before some spotty showers and storms could redevelop heading into the late afternoon hours, the evening hours tomorrow, and that would even linger into early on our Wednesday. So your 12 hour forecast storms are possible mainly in the morning, drier midday storms pop back up as we head into your late afternoon and evening that lingers into early on your Wednesday. Notice the cool down. So we go from the 90s today to upper 80s tomorrow, low 80s on Wednesday. And after that, how about highs hanging out near 80 degrees? Lows will bottom out even in the upper 50s by Friday. Then more storm chances as we go through the weekend into early next week.